Okay, YouTubers, uh, we're going to work on a BMW G30 today. Um, you see the firmware problem here? Alright, there's a way to update this thing. Configure vehicle interface. Let's click here. It's the important the process of this may take up to 4 minutes. Do you do not interrupt the force of process? The icon during this time, blah 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 blah. Alright. Okay, YouTubers, we can go to Connection Manager and um, we go here. It should know that the ICOM status is free, so it kind of goes through a firmware upgrade. So we're going to go click Second Up Connection and go forward. It's a BMW G30, so. And careful, you must plug in this first from the ICOM side to the laptop first and then you give the ICOM power to the car. Alright, if you plug in the icon to the car first and give it power and then you plug in this Ethernet cable last, it's gonna ask you the icon is gonna assume Wi-Fi mode or wireless LAN mode. So and remember don't ship around the laptop or ship this cable because it will break the connection here on the Ethernet card. Alright, so we minimize that for now. And we wait. This is the this FLER front light electronics right we're going to program that all right the vehicle details here this is the eye level we're going to save this oh we'll save the eye level factory we save this as SA15A blah 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 seven blah 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 okay all right we are going to um we're gonna go here, we're gonna look at fall codes here. Uh, troubleshooting. My system is a bit slow, I mean the damn thing is processing. Come on, move. All right, so we're looking for the, um, the ECU that I say is needed to be coding. This one, encoding, controlling, not encoding. So right, we're gonna go here and software update. It's gonna calculate measure plan, and we wait. Let us see how many control modules that it dictated needed to be updated to the latest high level target. 
All right, you need to be right here. We're gonna break connection with our uh, Easter. We're going here. We're gonna break connection with Easter D plus, and then we uh, go open up our uh, ESIS. Minimize that, and we find ESIS as well. This is EC Pro, EC is Pro, we're gonna click launch. Alright, this is EC right here. We're gonna make connection. We're going to look at the IP address here, it's 9238. And we go for, uh, we, we make the right eye level target right here. Oh, wait a minute. Let me let me let me let me pause this. All right, we scroll on here. I look for SA15, eh? SA15, right here. And we have two of them. We have this earlier eye level. We have that eye level target, and we have this one. So we choose this one, the latest one. All right, and then we pause a little bit. We're gonna edit the EDBS INI file. This file right here, we're gonna edit it, and I'm gonna put right here. 92 uh, 38 exactly what is in iTool radar here I'm gonna put that and we're gonna save the file we're gonna go to the top and look at this remote yes remote is right here there's no number hashtag right there so the line, line can be read okay so we can we can um, open up i radars. Then we click on this right here that says free. Then we click reserve over that side. The icon will be reserved. There is it. We minimize that. Then we should be able to connect to the car now. All right, it shows that connection established. No big deal. All right, reread over the FA. And then we save FA. All right, we save FA like that. The pin number. Then we also activate the FA, which is to say we're going to open up the vehicle profile, and the vehicle profile tabs right here. And here's it right there, deposit. Then we're gonna click on read VCM. All right, once you get this message right here, no big deal, let us read right here, let's click read ECU instead. And the SBT tree is populated. We click on complete flash right here. And then we look at the current eye level. The eye level would be 2018. 2018, 7, 530, something like this. All right. To make sure we go here to make sure that the eye level to make sure that the eye level is correct we go here click on expert mode at the bottom there and click on VCM and then we um, wait you we'll go here and master tab at the bottom and then we we'll click read I step shipment and it says 2018 of July 530 and so on it said 1807530 okay we go back here to comfort mode at the top click that Cal calculating then we know we can check if it's right 
All right, no problem. We calculate so. Okay, YouTubers, this is part one on the Note Four, uh, the Note Eight, and we're gonna make part two next. I just hate this bullshit. Okay, YouTubers. Okay, we starting part two on the Note Eight 4K of programming the FLE right headlight model on the BMW G35 series. There's it right there. Okay. And as you can see right here, we choose the right correct eye shipment. This is important to choose. And then we make sure we select the latest eye level target. We make sure we click complete flash in order for the eye step shipment box to be highlighted. Okay. We save the vehicle order right here. This is the file name of it. Next, we're going to save IST, the actual installation table. And then since we calculate salt, we're going to save it also when it is finished. Okay. And then we calculate the transaction list right here. This tab will be highlighted black whenever the salt is finished. Calculate it. Let us take a walk to maintain your power supply and the battery and so on okay we're gonna save SVT IST and SVT sol all right let's just pause the video on the note 8 for now we're gonna save this that's that and call it IST okay Alright, we'll call that one SV, ISD. And we're going to also save this one that says SOL. We're going to look for the one for the bin number. This one It's going to get the same name, but we're going to change the extension right here. We'll call it SOL. Alright. And then we're going to calculate the tail. This should finish in no time. And then we save the transaction list as this file name here. We underscore tail. And then, um, all right. We have received the transaction list. All right. And uh, we just did that and so on. All right. So this is the um, this is the control unit table of all the control unit description of all the IDs. What we're gonna do? We're gonna scroll down here and we're gonna look for the FLE. We're gonna look for the FLE at the bottom. Here's it. Oh, I just saw it. I just saw it. Oh, I think this is them right here. FLM. This and this. You know, one is on the left and one is on the right. As you can see right here, you see this coding data? You see this one that says here FFFFF? All right, cool. That is the actual state of the coding in blue. This red one, this red file is gonna be replacing this blue one right here. That's what, this is a, I think this is the right. F, I think it's FLM, uh, front light module, and address 44. We're gonna overwrite this blue file here with this red one, all right? So we go to export mode, and then we go here and file processing. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on. How we go right here to the top of the top. Then we look for the VIN number, a control. We save the file. This is the transaction list right here. We choose that. And then we go for the, the, the saw. Then we choose it right here. This is saw. Then we choose that. 
and then we look at what control models that EEC is dictated want to be updated so what we do we just check all we just click that turn that off then we go down to the bottom of the four address for the four here and as you can see it's going to write a software flash file to the control module it's going to also deploy a uh, going to do software cd deploy let me check the other one okay both of them can have the same eye level but no big deal let us check Well, let us check software availability. Come on. Okay, let's go back to comfort mode. Let me look. Let me look right here. Uh, this is um. This is address forty-three. This coding file is on the left. Headlight module. This one here, the actual, is a blue state of the model. And um, this red one is going to be solid overrides it. It shows that this one is working. It's the only this one that has all F's, F's across it. This one is to be updated with this red file right here. All right, so address 404 is what we're working with here. That is the right FLER. So we go to process in. We uncheck the one that says address 403 and leave only address 404. And then we go forth and then we click start right here to uh, start the process. Okay, it says FLE. The FA file not open. FA file. Oh, 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 I see, I see. This this simple meaning that we did not click this one. Read FA so that the, the, the FA show up here the vehicle order. Okay, so that is why we get this error right here. There's a note of caution for people, so we have to click right. Read VCM. You're gonna see that right here populated. Click that. You can see now the FA showed up right there, and right now we can click uh, start and go through. All right, so we're gonna click start here. And you check out the ice shipment 18 2018 of 07. This car was um, program and release ice is this factory. So we click finish and we go forward. It should change. Yeah. Here's, the, here's the process started. The mirror, the mirror situation. There's a module under there. You probably need to look at it online. All right. See memory module. Taking two minutes to that. It's no programming. We're gonna to go to the car. I'm uh, still coding. Still coding. You got yeah. You got a wire. It's only me shopping. It's only me shopping. Okay, man. Okay. Look, look, look at me, Yes, sir. How are you, the girl? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, Kristen? Yes. Where you go? Come, Sam, you can sit down. Well, we baptize and drink this. Okay. You tell us when you have a girl? Oh? You tell us when you have a girl? <laughs> <laughs> you tell us about it? What? No, just now he's saying if I remember the person that programmed the BMW. Okay, so yeah. He's coming to propose. Yeah, yeah. Really? No, we don't have a post here. We don't know you. <laughs> no, I know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're telling that story. Yeah, 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 yeah. We just need somebody to go on, you know? That's a little that special person, you know? You know, we should tell them while I run. Okay, YouTubers, this uh, processing transaction list has flashed the, um, the headlight model uh, successfully. So, you know, this is basically it right here. Let us pause the video for now and finish up. Since we added a new control module to the car system, I mean, all will come from the factory, we have to update the VCM, the Vehicle Configuration Management, and that is what it's doing right now, and it's also updating the master security module of it, okay? As you can see right here. FA right to the VCM, and Vehicle Profile right to the VCM as well. All right, basically finished. Well, the work is finished as we can see right here. We get a green bar all across. The light is finished and so on. 
and we had filmed it a little while ago that it is well it come down okay youtubers we're gonna save this log here ah oh boy This is what the file looks like for the job that we just did. Let me see how much minutes gone already. Okay, 21 minutes we did. So you can see that the software flash all have been deployed. There they are. Alright, no problem. Okay, so okay, that is finished. So we're gonna close out this. All right, what we do now, we can clear the log since we save a copy of that. We'll go back here to ECU and um, we can uncheck. We can uncheck right now the FLE and that's it. We can basically disconnect from car right now and call it a day and done. Disconnect. We minimize that and then we basically open up Easter now. Then we go back here to. Um, active state so we're going to close this operation right here we pause the video for now on the laptop oh this the need to be restarted okay youtubers we close our pc so we're going to reload the car now with this the d plus so we're going to delete the file code from the control modules and see how many of them remain behind okay we pause the video and annotate it for now yeah you ready okay. yes okay we're going to look if we still see the file code for the fle Alright, you see this file code here, it's a transport mode active. Yeah. Usually, the transport active, you know that control mode has to delete it. Right. So, we can delete it now. But, but, but this, was the, this was the encoding of the control in this one. Alright. So, uh, we can. I want to calculate test plan, but once you have transport mode active in the car, yeah. it might be active in the DJ as well. Right, right. So, you know, maybe the car don't start now. Right. We'll delete it then. I took a damn video on this, but I tried. I tried to make Yeah, I'll delete it. I'll delete it. Oh, it's not finished yet. It's still going on with a vehicle. You see that? When this go away here, it will highlight the delete button to be black right here. So we have to wait first. Okay. Let me see if I can. Alright, we're going to delete file code. Alright, so um, let me let me see uh, which one here. Let me pause. Like, the video is almost finished. I don't want to make part three. <laughs> I'm looking for uh, I'm looking for the code for the for the FLE not coded. Transfer mode active. I'm gonna delete transfer mode. I think the vehicle won't start right now. And once transfer mode is active, the vehicle won't start. Okay. Okay, YouTubers, once you get this right here, this is the front light electronics, right? We just programmed this one. Transport mode is active, so therefore, the light does work, but the engine might not start because transport mode is also active in the EGS, so therefore, we're going to delete the file codes and so on, alright? Alright. Alright. Let me, let me, um. Easter now they put the programming in it to turn off terminal 15 automatically mm -hmm. and switch it back on. And you can watch it here, you're gonna watch it. See it going residing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It still show that on the battery. Uh, the, the U mean utility, so it still show the battery. And it still know that the park the car is in park. Mm -hmm. It's gonna now switch it from this to um you soon see the PAD come back. With these cars here, there's a new terminal concept that they install in from your 2015. Mm -hmm. You have to press the button three times within eighteenth of a second. I realize that. I realized that just a while ago. 
Poop, poop, poop. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I realized it. I realized that. Once you're working on this car, terminal 15 is on, you don't have, you don't have to insert this driver's seatbelt no more into the seatbelt latch and um, just, just, just keep it on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, level 4 is remaining, so let's just wait until. As you can see, you see that? The FLEL left and the FLE right, you see them? They are basically um, green, you see that? Good. Okay, YouTubers, thanks for viewing the video on um, YouTube channel. Have a nice day. End of the video on the Note 8 portion. Goodbye. I am out. Let me check one more thing. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It's $30, buddy. It's $30. Right. See that? There's no, there's no fall code, no for transfer mode. And there's no fall code. Uh, no. Let me see if we can. Do you know that rough spot here? There's a corrosion right there. Control unit is not encoded. Oh, the amplifier is not coded. You see that? So somebody replace this. Control unit is not encoded for the vehicle. Did you do it? Did you, um... I didn't do it. No, but let me say. Uh, let me take a picture. Can you record the old? Uh, are you one? Can you yeah. record? Okay, well, you see that? You never tell me that for that. All right. So we um. Arrow mirror light, no lens slave. You have to correct this one. This lens slave has to be connected. Otherwise, maybe we can initialize mirror or something like that. There's a no lean slave here, door, switch center, operating facility. So there's no lean slave there. Okay, you want to see that? Okay, no problem. Okay, so. What I'm going to see is Mr. The hardware error, read, rear, radar sensor, short range left, HR, SNL, no report. Alright, open circuit on that. Uh, okay, alright, no problem. Let me, let me go here. Let me see. The, let me look for the amplifier. I think it should be on the. Uh, where is it? Oh, here's it right. See that? It's not coded. There's no CFD file. CFD file would be like. Alright, this one. See, if, let me use this. You see that CFD file? Cool. That CAB file is coding application file. That's the file that we written to the car, uh, written to that control module. If you can look here, here, this is the amplifier. See that there's no CAB file. So that is why I say did not code it because I didn't have the CAB coding application file data. Oh, that thing probably lose easy to program. But well, let me look at the variant. The variant is um called AMPT10 on address what? It's on address address 37. Cool. All right, address 37. All right, let's see if we can initialize driver window. Go in service function here. Then we go in body. And we scroll down and look for safety locking feature. Power window regulator. And um, this bit right here, initialize power window. Then we go here and click on that ABL. Then we click display. Uh, call up. We can maximize it. Turn off the car by itself, mm -hmm. and it keeps the see said power residing, mm -hmm. so it should turn it back up to PAD. You see that? <laughs> so, so it knows when you're gonna run a test plan, um, um, a procedure, mm -hmm. you just turn it off, and they make it intelligent very, very intelligent. It says here the power window, it said, it said the driver side power window is really fully normalized. It tells you that it's fully normalized. You see that? Mm -hmm. It tells you the state of it. See that? 
It will have said not fully normalized, but it shows you, it tells you the initialization status here. So it says normalized. Well, then you don't so you the four with regular close all doors and convert again, blah 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 blah. Alright. You chunk up it? I don't think you chunk up it. Let me let me check. I'm gonna pause the video here. You see uh TV shall four windows. Close all doors and convert without the finish there. Present. In case of problem, all windows need to be closed, otherwise there may be some problem with the initialization of the rear power window. Okay. As all doors are closed. Oh you did you see the ED? <laughs> You remember, you see this right here? Mm. You remember the driver door is open? Mm. Alright, we're gonna see if we can dr do driver's door and first passenger door. Then we do this. this driver's right on the other side. Mm. We're gonna do driver's and front passenger. We're gonna initialize those. Driver door and blah blah blah. Go here to continue. Let's we'll just wait. I'll just watch this hour glass at the bottom. He said here, should it be a foreign driver? Yes, we're gonna do that. Start it. So. See them? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they move. Finish. It's finished successfully, so. Alright, you see? It's been un initialized, there's no problem. We're gonna go here to continue. Let's see if we do the rear. Come on, this up there now. Start doing the mouse. It's get, this car has got tons of problems, Vivian. You're going to turn it down just like that? Yeah. It's got tons of problems. Radar problems. Hey. Battery terminal, the safety terminal. You didn't replace that part of the no, safety no. terminal? I just want to drive it for a vibe but until I, I buy the rest of stuff. That's man, it's got tons of stuff. Driver side rear. Tons of yeah. checking the window. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, we're gonna do six now. Mm. Oh, I said yes. I didn't know uh, you you're selling it to someone? This is my car. You said you're selling it to Jamaica? Yeah. For who? Rear. You've been selling me. it? Yeah, I'm gonna sell it though. Oh, okay. Oh, so you you you're getting your money tied up in this damn car. You even sell the city yet. In the really? In the US? Okay. All right. <laughs> the I like those things, man. Cool. I like those things. You get back your money. Like, you remember you were something like that, Mark yeah. 9. Put no more money back in this I car, know. man. How long you advertise it for before you sold it? Uh, I didn't advertise it. A couple of people saw me driving it. I sent a picture to them. Chiba, is this Caesar? Yeah, yeah. I know. Uh, sure, uh, Why have we drink off everything since we get up? Uh, yeah. Alright, end of service function. We click that, end of that. Oh, the safety terminal, um, I have to change because it has the crash detection in there. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I just bridged it just so I could get power to start it. Okay. They didn't, you know, the car is so new, they didn't have it. Really? Yeah. And then didn't have any stuff. Alright, service function finished, so... Alright, that is finished though. So. I'm gonna make a try it and see. You guys Alright, we're gonna encode. You, you, did you replace the amplifier here? The amplifier? Yeah. yeah. Are you sure that it needs to be coded? It's not coded. You want us to do it? I had to code it. I had to change it because it got damaged. Yeah, I know, but it shows yeah. that it's not coded. Right. Control is not coded. It's a player. It's a player? It's yeah. Playing, but yeah. maybe you won't get no bass. You get bass? I get decent bass, but not the bass that I need. Okay, yeah. Yeah. The window's still not half, working. Half, half and half. It's still not working? It's still not working from there, but it's working through the body module. You will be realized about the switch is not working. You sure you plug that in? All right, wait. Did you I take it off? take it off. The car got damaged here. Only. Rear. So bumper, trunk, and quarter. That's it. Alright, this one would be in the um, BDC. Let me go here. I have um, a guy from I'm going to give it to him to drive today. What's his name? Asako? He's in town? Yeah.
Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to give you a drive. 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 So of course you might have got a deal with him, but the, but the only but the, him is a fast car boy now. You might not want it to throw him. Nah, he's a he's a because uh, he sold the uh, the Ronaldo cars. He's a speedy boy, man. Yeah, he sold his cars. Though. He sold all of them. Most of them, just as you said. Huh? So he wants to tie him up. Ronaldo, program that being over there. Insurance lighting on. Extra mirror. I'm looking for the doors. The window, 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 window. Exterior mirror general. You check the fuse in that thing? Um, I checked the, just quickly though. I checked the fuses there and I checked the fuse in there. Underneath the, and those are good? Yeah. yeah. I went through it quickly. But I know the power, the power module, that, that thing that um, explodes is just... just that's just the main power, yeah, yeah, that's the main power. That's there, that won't happen to you with this. Oh, the power module blue? No man, just a few. He's talking about the, the battery terminal. The battery terminal. The oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You have to replace it's that terminal. because it shows resistance too high. Right. Yeah, yeah. So you have yeah, to change it. Airbag, and yeah. that's in the airbag. Yeah. It's in the airbag system. Hello? Alright, yeah. I mean amplifier. Alright, let me click on the So we are going with one what you want to do? Push in. Like five hours, my nigga. You see the nominal? It says the nominal according for the see that? Okay. This yeah. is nominal of what is required. You see you see yeah, actual, it's showing the actual state of the files on it. You see that you see there's no yeah, coding. You see this? Next mm -hmm. one, and you have one, two, three, one, two, three. You see that? You need this one in it. You see that? So we're gonna use these system plus this one right here. And then when we read it out again, you will see that the CFD right here, the file ID right here, two A five, it will show up right here. And then actual will match the nominal and we should be good to go. Alright, no big deal. Temperature of output stage, blah blah blah. I'm gonna find out which which module control the door, the, the door thing. Um, yes, I'm trying to find out. Yes, I'm, I'm just, it should be in the BDC, the body domain controller, or safety the battery terminal resistance. Too, uh, no, that's not it. The what? Uh, come here, one more thing. What? Yes, sir. Um, you say the lean master here and the K line. What? Line, what guys? There's a short circuit. No. In the LIN, he said there's a LIN master here, K line, right. no communication there. He said the door sheet sensor operating right. facility, there's no, no LIN slave. The small fine wires that carry bus signals and right. messages, those are disconnected right now on the car. On, so on those, the car for the door? Yes, for exterior mirror left and exterior mirror right. And also the door switch center operating facility. Mm -hmm. It has no LIN slave there. So that's why it's not moved again. Yeah. So you'll find out the line in. Sometimes I'm wondering. Here's the, here's the thing. I yeah, wonder. Yeah, okay. What's up, my brother? Here's the thing. The car got hit in the rear, and front right where the where the light changed, right? Very yeah. light. I didn't change the bumper. I only changed the hood, and I only changed the fender. I didn't change the fender, right? The main damage was like a bar that goes across. Didn't have to change the quarter panel, like a body bar that goes across the bar, where the bumper is it aluminum? Bar goes onto. Yes. Oh, damn. That's it. The battery was pushed in, it was squeezed in a little bit. Sorry, right. here we have we have a body domain control, a lean master here. I said check up audio playback and audio amplifier. You see this red one here? It means that's not coding. So we have to do that and then we have to check the wire diagram for the BDC, the body domain control, a lean master. Okay, the outside mirrors already know that part. Yeah, man, he never checked that. Let's pull the amplifier and make it. Yeah. And then the driver switch block. Yeah, man, he never got code. He never got checked the rest once, of those. Once you code, yeah, once you code the, uh, the, code the amp, amplifier, yeah. And the amplifier. All right. Line in here, yeah, line can, damage. Yeah. Right? So. What I have to do, I'm gonna have to check the harness in the bumper. There's, no, the battery sensor. Is there a battery okay. sensor that was damaged? The battery sensor? The, the one negative? that goes on the negative terminal that has two small wires that should push no. in it? No, no, no. Okay, YouTubers, we're gonna end video here of part three of the program of the FLE, right? Alright, YouTubers, thanks for being this channel. Remember to subscribe. I am out. Boom. But there's an all on oh, okay, okay. record, no more on that. There's a fuse that kept blowing, right? Check connector on master control. I know I don't get to your car. Check I know me don't even touch your car. You can't see my same position. Eh? <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, so for the five minutes, him do it. How much him charge? He charge me hundred. Because just a target in the house. Oh. Charge door. Target. Don't worry about the driver door. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna shut it out. Yeah, I'm gonna shut. I'm gonna shut. The amplifier code already? Hmm? You code the amplifier? No, I'm gonna do it now. Okay. Well, oh, you have to go in now the next one. Yeah, let me check which bus is on. Let me check. Because sometimes, so, sometimes um, this is green. This would be on the PT can can too. Let me see. This color here, does it match to this or this? this? All right, this green color here match to PT can too. Cool. You see this right here, most bus? This match to this. They show you the head unit. This has to be programmed through a router. Mm. But I'm gonna try to see if I can write to it mm. with a router. Router change IP address from 169 to 192. You so, told me that we did do that from my shop two years ago. Yeah, let me see if we can um, disconnect because it shows that the green right here, the legend, is the, the amplifier and the, and the edu and is circling. On it. But let, me, let, me, let me try, let me see if it will work. Let me disconnect here from car. What do you have to do before? Really change the headlight, the headlight of the program. Only now. Now you got some joke thing. I'm gonna laugh. 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 I'm gonna Okay, many of you know, you probably never pull up on anything like that, but it, many of you realize that. Yeah. Alright, I'm looking for address 37. Um, the fuck are them? It's not here showing up. I'm before the AC, just come the body right here. Yeah, here's it right here. AMP, is this it? Yeah, that's it, 37. Yeah, it showed that the coding file is in right here. This is it, address 37. This is it. Yeah. We're gonna flash and code that one. All right, so we do now. We go back here. Connection. Time and we go down. SA15. Data salary target. Oh, make sure that the icon is locked. Yeah, locked. Let me see if we get connection. All right, get connection. Please so read out the vehicle order again. Activate FA. And then we go back here and choose the I step shipment. Oh, I can code it. I do not have to even do this part. I can go right here. Because I'm making a transaction list for it already, you know what I mean? Mm. Go to child processing. Then we go right down here and scroll for it. Here's it right here. It shows who load the flash, software the fly, blah blah blah. Alright, we're gonna do uh oh, it's is it sorry, this is a, um I choose the wrong one. Next one, top one. Yes, I, that's a tele telecoms box. This is it right here. This is one we're gonna choose. So we check software availability. Alright. We're gonna see if we can flash it now. No big deal. Let us wait. It's gonna switch over to the log. <laughs> Let us wait and see. It's this, it's hey, so all right, it's recording it now. We, yeah. we, we need software for this. Yeah, it's, it's hard to forget. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. All right, it's finished. So it's called execution. Feel it successfully. The amplifier coded. Yeah. Right. So you should get, go ahead and test the music. No, half, half, halfway should be halfway now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to copyright in there. Just, brother, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Vivian. We don't want to copyright in there. pause. Alright, the master security module and the vehicle configuration management is being updated. Okay, YouTube, is the amplifier not working properly? Oh, well. Did you get it? Working? It's like at the right level. Okay. See, it worked before? Yes. But half, 
wasn't half. Okay. That was less than half. Okay. Half was less than half. That's how I knew that was the yeah. 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 needed to, to get. Yeah. And it said it. It was kind of said the light is being recorded and the cap being Okay, so, so, so my laptop is here, which. Because I've been having the artists of these little small programs that use it, and I and I have to sit down on a desk. Look, you don't even understand how embarrassing it is to get a new car and like, you can't do shit. No, it's not embarrassing. Why is it embarrassing? Because it's like you can't do everything. You cannot do everything. I know, I know. But it's like it was right there, and then when it went to coding, it was nothing. No, you can't. You can't. So you I can't. called them. They said that they, they, they said that they were gonna have it in a couple months. Ah, uh, fuck them. Yeah. Because they they won't have everything, dude. They will no. never have everything. I know. The okay, in depth, YouTubers. The in depth that needs to... Okay, YouTubers. We finished coding the car. Uh, we call it amplifier. So we go back to ECU and then we uncheck this right here. Then we can disconnect from connection manager. Then we uh, close connection. And we can run this to D now to Ryan out if we have. Uh, so, all right, fucking, I have to close the session every time. Shit. Okay, the icon is reserved, so we're gonna try release icon. We you know we just use ESIS, so release that. Did we see free? And there is a free, blah blah blah. We'll go set up connection now, we'll go forward. Is that a genuine icon or a clown? That's it. When we call, are you tell me for buying the whole ice name in it? You genuine? No, the clown one. That one? Remember when you tell me for all of this, you send me by by um by yeah. a link to go and buy it and we buy it. Yeah, yeah. You right. bring you bring a frazzle out to them. No, no, we can't remember. Bring which one. No, no, the reason why I... ago. that was only two years ago. Yo, Twice man. and I can't come out. <laughs> what mean you can't come out? Are your wife not driving this home? Yeah man. I thought it was you driving it home. No man, you're gonna go, we're gonna unhook right now. Okay, YouTubers, you can see the amplifier now. We can look at the coding file. You can see the coding file at the bottom. See if the user. Then go here, call up ECU function. Alright, to call up the ECU function, we click on the server information tab. And you can see now that the actual state of the file, the CAFD was not there for it. Now it's there because I use the ECS to flash it or code it. And then it's good. So, what we're going to do now, we're going to basically look at the file codes. Let me look at the file codes here. Here's the stuff here. I have a file the header is too. Yeah, encoded, so we're going to do the file memory. The header is like, we delete the file code memory so that the code that says uh, amplifier not coded, it will go away. And as you can see that the amplifier there, AMPT is all no green and there's no more fault code in it and so on. Let me see if we can read fall codes. Alright, you see there's no more fall codes for the amplifier. Okay, you viewers, thank you for viewing my channel. BMW, programming and encoding. Thank you for subscribing. I am out.